the top five QuickBooks apps of 2017, and I want to be clear that my criteria for this are really the top five that have really helped me the most this year in my own accounting practice. And I'd like to start it off with the newest app that's come into my world. And I think this is an app that represents really the future of the accounting profession, the accounting technology profession. Everything's getting more and more automated, which means that we're having to spend less time doing data entry, which means we can devote more time to strategic analysis. And these guys are focused on creating a dashboard, an ecosystem for business owners who can come in and look at things in terms that make sense to them. Because not everybody's an accountant, not every small business owner, in fact, most small business owners or not. So as you can see, this is a, a, an example of a financial overview. You can establish what range you're looking at information for and what period you're comparing to. So in this case, I chose to compare May of last year to May of this year. And you can see the difference in expenses last year. And I can see the breakdowns down here. On the left is this year's May. On the right is last year's May. And I can see a breakdown. But notice it's not in terms of the tax account or the, the, the account from the chart of accounts. It's based on payees. And that's how most business owners understand things. They understand when they look at who was paid, what it was for, and they want to see how much they're spending with different entities or companies. So this is again outlined in a way that makes a lot more sense to the business owner than it typically does when we as accountants send them accounting reports. It also shows you the main differences here. It shows you the things that changed most significantly based on whatever period you're doing the comparison for. So really, really good intelligence. And by the way, you can email this to your client if you're the accountant using this. And that looks like this. It's basically just a screenshot of exactly what you're seeing there. There's a lot more that's under the hood here, but the last thing I'll show you on this app for now is over here on the dashboard. And again, you're going to get some good high level information. Here are recent bills that came in. And the way this works, by the way, is very simple. I have a receipt from a restaurant where I've eaten. I take a snapshot. I forward it into Bilby's. Bilby's reads the receipt. It can determine if it's been paid. It can even determine which payment method was used. And ultimately, it's going to get coded into QuickBooks Online based on that. Now along to the right, you start getting some real intelligence. If I click on reminders and messages, it will take me in and you're going to see the one that it gives me here is really interesting. And again, it just represents, or I should say it's indicative of the kind of intelligence that we should be able to get from the apps that we're using. And sure enough here, it takes a second to index this stuff sometimes. But you can see it's telling me that I'm missing a bill or receipt from Google. In other words, normally there's a bill every month from Google for my G Suite account and it hasn't seen one for May. It, the most recent it tells me is from April. So again, this is really useful information. It's not just a pretty system of charts and graphs. It's actionable information that I can use so I can look at this and say, hey, where is that bill? Let's make sure it got paid, right? So really, really good intelligent information provided by this application. Next app, Transaction Pro Importer. This is a lifesaver, especially for me as an accountant where I'm doing a lot of cleanup jobs on clients' files. Uh, recently, I was doing a catch-up job and I had well over 300 invoices that if I had to enter them manually would have taken weeks and weeks and weeks to do. In this case, I was able to get done with entering these invoices in about an hour and here's what it looks like. As you can see, I'm clicking through. I already told Transaction Pro that it's invoices that I'd like to import. I'm going to drag an Excel file. This is a flat file that we pulled out of the company's old accounting software. And then as I continue forward, it takes me to this screen here where it's really easy to map. The reference number is the invoice number. The customer in this case is going to be the project. The transaction date is the invoice date. You just go down the list and map things based on how you have the columns organized in Excel. When you're done, you'll get a chance to preview it to make sure it's all going to come in OK. And then you import it. And within minutes, it's all uploaded into QuickBooks Online seamlessly and gorgeously. Next application I want to take a look at is Bill.com. Bill.com has been a lifesaver for a long time now. It just makes it easy to manage and process your accounts payable. And if your clients are the type who are inclined to opt in, your account's receivable as well. It's a little harder to get clients to opt in on the receivable side, but the payable side you have total control over. All you've got to do is get your bills in here. And by the way, the app I showed you, Bilbies, when you get things into Bilbies and they get pushed into QBO all coded, and then QBO, QuickBooks Online, is mapped to your bill.com account, within minutes it'll sync over to bill.com. It'll show up in here as a bill coded, ready to be paid, and you can pay any bill from anywhere because it's got a great mobile app for both Android and iOS. So bill.com is a lifesaver 
here, which just makes it really easy to manage and pay your payables. Next app, Webgility. Webgility, if you have an e-commerce based business, you, you just have to have Webgility. I wrote it up recently on a previous blog post that we did here on the Fundera Ledger. And I'm bringing it up here again, because, especially because like I said, the criteria is based on what's been very useful to me most recently. And this is a lifesaver with a client. You go in here and you establish your settings. You do the accounting settings, you map your items, you set up your sales channels. And I'm going to give you a tip. When you set up your sales channels, what you'll wanna do is if we go to connections here, I'll go into one of my client sales channels for a minute so that you can see uh, what we're doing here. Let's actually go into settings. And I think it's here in the accounting settings. Yes. So in the accounting settings, instead of depositing it to the undeposited funds, you set up a clearing account for that particular sales channel in QuickBooks Online, and that's where you want the deposit to go to instead of undeposited funds. It makes it much easier to reconcile your transactions and ultimately your payments that funded into your accounts later on, because as you can see, this client has three different sales channels. We're gonna have three different clearing accounts, and it's very easy to see from what comes into his bank account, which sales channel they came from, those deposits get cleared against these clearing accounts. Everything reconciles pretty much perfectly and practically by itself. So Webgility, definitely a lifesaver if you have an e-commerce type business. Last but not least, Tax Planner Pro. I haven't actually talked about this app. It's kind of one of those things that's just there. But what Tax Planner Pro will do is it will hook into your QuickBooks Online company. And most CPAs will reach out to you sometime around November after they finish dealing with all the tax returns that were on extension. And they'll start asking you for P&Ls and balance sheets for this year so they can do a projection. And they want to do that to make sure that if you're an escort, for example, you've paid enough payroll. And for that matter, they just want to basically put you on notice about how much tax as it looks like you're going to owe based on how your company has performed throughout the year so far and based on a simple projection of what it looks like it's going to look like between then and the end of the year. And they want to make sure that you have the money set aside or ready to pay any taxes you're going to owe. Unfortunately, even with that foresight and planning, by November it's often too late and a lot of business owners don't have the money, so that's why they go on extension because they need to get the money set aside, which by the way doesn't really work because you don't get an extension to pay, you just get an extension to file. You still have to pay or pay an estimated payment, which means if you don't and you're not prepared, you're going to get hit with interest and penalties even if you did file an extension. Tax Planner Pro will give you a gauge all year long based on your live up to date financial information coming from QuickBooks Online so that all year long you can see exactly where, you, where you're at in terms of what your taxes are likely going to look like. And based on that, you can make sure that you've got the money set aside or for that matter, have plenty of time to do the right tax planning. That, my friends, are my top five QuickBooks apps of 2017. And as I said, the reasoning behind it, the criteria for why, for why I'm picking these is these are the ones that have been most useful to me in my business and for those of my clients this year. That's all, folks. I hope you uh, had some fun here and learned something along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.